Hello and welcome. This video is about using the function manipulate optimization. And um, at first, I like to show you how to activate and set up the manipulate optimization function. And I also like to explain how to use the dialog and uh, also how to define offcuts for optimization in Excel. Well, and to do so, I go directly into the Shukai program and I have prepared two different units. And my first unit is about the facade. And um, if you go to the output and use the output options, <coughs> you find here on the top left, the optimization settings. And uh, I did two settings. I first, I created an optimization group in order just to show the facade transoms and also the facade mullions. And uh, so I left all the other profiles out in my optimization, just, just to get a better overview. And I've activated the function manipulate optimization uh, by checking this box here. Right, then I go to OK. And you go to OK, that was my preparation for this. And um, then I go to the cutting optimization here on top. And I've selected my facade like that cutting optimization, and I don't want to deal with this dialogue here. It is as usual, but what you get if you use the manipulate optimization function, you get an intermediate dialogue. And this dialogue shows, shows all articles which will be currently optimized. Now Shakal collects all the profiles together. And that is here my dialogue of the manipulate optimization. And you can see here, Shakal has filtered out the profiles. You, as you could see, there were some door inside the facade, but these are only the Malians and trends and profiles of the facade, considering the optimization group. And what you can do now is you can, on one hand, you can change here the fixed length, length for example, and I like to get it 5050. And what I also like to do is I don't want to see also this profile 3 to 2, 350, not in my cutting optimization. Then I go to OK. And here is my cutting optimization. And let's see what are the results. Of course, I get my the other transom here. I haven't changed the bar length. Here again, the next transom. And here you can see my Malian gets the bar length of 5,050 and I get 50 of them and five here for the another bar. The reason is I've defined here number 10 of this kind for start that the result that I get 55 different kind of bar lengths. Well, and um, how does it look like then in my quantity, you know, my bulk quantity list? So the optimization group does not take any effect to the bulk quantity list. And now I click on my bulk quantity list and uh, I do not change the optimization settings. I just go to OK. And here again, you see 
now all the profiles which are required for this facade are shown here. That means the optimization group I have created that will not be considered in my bulk quantity list. And again, I change here the bar length to 5050. And I want to uncheck the transom 322390. And that does not mean that the article is not calculated, but this article will not be optimized. That's a great difference. So now we print out the bar quantity list and take a closer look to these two profiles here. When you go to OK, Here is my bulk quantity list. And uh, then let's take a closer look to the non-thermally broken profiles. If we go further down, you see here the article 322390, I define it not to be optimized. That means this profile does not get this asterisk here. That means this profile is optimized but I've removed the checkbox here. That means the article is listed in your bulk quantity list, but this article will not be optimized. And also if you take a closer look to this mullion here now, 536A40, you see this here, I get 55 bars with a length of 5,050, and you get this plus symbol here, and uh, you get a legend at the end of the list. <clears throat> that means, the asterisk means optimize, calculate the supplement from project, and that is the modified stock length that is about the plus. So, good. I close now here the printout. And I also like to show how Shukal reacts using insulated window profiles. And I've prepared some fixed glazing here and I make a right click on it to show you the pre-rolled profile code of these profiles. Here I've got an outer frame, which is rolling by customer. So you get the half profiles and also the isolators. And uh, the Malian and Transom I've defined pre-rolled by Shuko. And how does it look like if I now make a print out of it? So again, we go to the output and we go to the cutting optimization. And what I have to do is the optimization settings, they are still set to an optimization group. And now I have to change it to all. So otherwise, the Shukal is looking for facade and Malian and transom profiles, and they are not content of this window. Then we go to OK. And here also we go to OK in order to get the intermediate dialogue. Well, and as you can see here, this outer frame was defined as uh, unrolled but you get the article number here, the total article number of the profile. And now if I make here the fixed length of 2000 for this, and here you see the M, that means it is Shuko rolled. You get the article number and the PT at the end means that you got a polythermid isolator between, and I want to change this number to 2000 or the length to 2600. Now, and let's take a close look how it looks like in the cutting optimization. So we go to okay. And here you see in the cutting optimization, 
you get the article number of the whole profile here and not the half profiles. And you get the bar length of 5,000 millimeter. And for the Shukurold transom or Malian, you get the bar length of 2,600 as defined. Good, how does the bar quantity list look like? If we go again to the output and go to the bar quantity list, and I do the same now, 5,000. And for the million, oh, hold on, 5,000. And here it was 2,600. If I go to OK, let's take a look to this. Here you see the Shukurold Malian or Transom article number. It gets the plus here. So that means I have manipulated the bar length. And here you find the outer shell of the unrolled profile code and also the inner shell. It also gets the symbol of the manipulated length as well as the insulating bars. Here, they also get the plus. Well, then I go I, to the page preview. I close this now. And uh, now I like to show you how to use the off cuts in Excel. So with an Excel sheet, you can create your, yourself an Excel sheet and uh, you can influence the result of the optimization. And now let's do this. I click on this facade here. And um, then I go to the output. And I go to the cutting optimization. And I like to go to the optimization settings. And for the facade, I also like to select the optimization groups so that I can see only the facade, malian, and transoms. Then I go to OK. And again, I go to OK. And again, you get the manipulate optimization dialog here. But here at the bottom, you have got another option. You can create an Excel file. So in order to get the Excel file, you go to the new. You see Excel starts here and the article number is required, the surface finish, the length and the number is required. And the easiest way to do this, you can get this with control C into the memory. And then I like to use the article number 536840. And uh, I define the surface finish now for this, for that with control V, I paste this here. And here I can define different kind of length. So, Picture the situation, you've got some profiles in stock and the profiles are to have got a length of 2,100 millimeter and you've got 12 of these bars somewhere in stock. And then again, I can enter the article numbers here or I can also like you know this from Excel, I copy the cells now and I paste them. 
in order not to enter all the data here. And then I define the following. Uh, then I would like to get a fixed bar length of 5050. And as soon as I click here a zero, Shukal calls up the number of malleons which are required for the facade. So as a result, now then Shukal should use 12 articles of the stock and here 5050 as a fixed length for the facade. Then you go to save, you save this here in the Excel environment. And here you can see this, these two profiles are now sent to this manipulate option dialog. And um, here are the remaining fixed length here. These are the remaining ones. So the rest lengths you've got in stock. And these are the fixed lengths you like to get for your facade. And now we go to OK and see how the op cutting optimization looks like. So we go directly to our mullion and you see here, this mullion with a bar length of 5,050, I've got 50 bars with this length. And if I go further now, a little bit further down, I get the same profile article number, but with a stock length of 2,100, Shukal calculates 10 of this because it also finds out the best cutting optimization in order to reduce your offcut. Well, how does it look like in the bulk quantity list? So I go to the close page preview and then we go to the output. We go to the bar quantity list. Again, let's see the intermediate dialog. And now I can call up here this Excel file by using this three dot function. Here it is, go to OK. I've got the same data here. And then I click on OK in order to, to see the bar quantity list. And here you can see you get a bulk quantity list and also a stock list. So let's take a closer look to that. So here's the bulk quantity list with all the profiles here, thermally broken and non-thermally broken. And let's go further down to our article number. That is now my mullion I've manipulated. I get 50 bars with this length of 5,050 and again, the plus that I've manipulated the stock length. The other profiles of the mullion are filtered out. You see here, you get a stock list of the bulk quantity list. And that means you need 10 of these bars with a length of 2,100 from your stock. So they are filtered out of the bulk quantity list, so that you can, uh, so that you get a uh, additional stock list. Well, and um, you can create using the manipulate optimization, like say a bigger stock list, and. Um, I've prepared an Excel sheet. And for that, I go to the cutting optimization. And um, then I go to, again, I go to OK. 
Again, I got the manipulate optimization and I've prepared a large Excel file. Now, that is my example of the large list. So here I've defined a couple of article numbers, including the remaining fixed length. It's like a, a, a stock list. So the profiles you have in stock, right? And uh, it's that you do not have to compare here the articles which are used now in your project or items. You can select here an article filter. You see, with this article filters, you get exactly now here an overview of your input of the Excel file. These are exactly the articles numbers which are used now in your project. And here you can see, okay, here I've got a number of 10, 50, 12, 12, 12, and these are all the rest lengths of different article numbers. And that will also be considered, of course, in your cutting optimization if you do this. So, right, that is an intermediate dialogue of the Excel file because all these steps you did are recorded here in different tabs. You see that? So you can choose from, you can add or remove the profiles here. And of course, you get the cutting optimization here. And it works like I have explained before. Here are all your profiles with a manipulated stock length here. And uh, you see here the bar lengths from stock can be 2050 or 5050. So related to the input of your Excel file. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a very short video to how to manipulate the optimization. And I hope you it helps you in your daily business. So thank you for watching this short video. And for now, I wish you a pleasant day. And I say goodbye and uh, auf Wiedersehen.